Okay, and now I'm gonna put this uh, crank plate back on the engine. I don't think I have a new gasket for that. I don't think so, but this gasket's still fine. It's still soft. Okay, these are gonna be torqued down to nine Newton meters. Um, just wanna try to drill it out and see if I can get it out. Okay, so here at the back of the engine, one thing I forgot to mention is the O-ring goes on the crankshaft right here under the um, flywheel, basically. So it seals it from the inside. It's a bit hard to get on there. Okay, so it's time to start putting the pistons in. The first thing I'm gonna do is check the uh, cylinder wall clearances. I'm just gonna check the max. It doesn't quite go in there. Uh, like I said, the machine shop already checked them, so they're okay. So that one's okay for that block. Um, and I wanna get the one that fits the best. Cause, I mean, they're supposed to be the same size, but sometimes there is slight variation. So that one's good to go too. Okay, so the end gap for the ring is gonna be between 0 0.10 and 0 0.18. This is of course an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start checking those out. Start with this cylinder. Make sure you keep the right piston with the right cylinder when you're doing this, especially if you have to change them. Which these cylinders, like I said, they were just honed, so they might not even need to be changed at all. I said 0 0.018 is the maximum. That one's fine. Yeah, both those are okay. That's pretty much spot on the outer gap, so that's okay. Same thing here on this one. So all the rings are right on the outer 0.18, which isn't ideal really, but it's fun. But yeah, definitely probably in the next rebuild, we'll definitely go up to the uh, 0.25 millimeter on the cylinders. So that's really all there is to that. Just make sure you keep them together and we'll go ahead and get ready and get the block up here and uh, get ready to put the cylinders on. Okay, so we're gonna start with this front piston first. Um, well, actually that's the rear piston, huh? So they go this way. Um, this is the balance side shaft. This is the rotary valve side. And the way we know that is because that lines up with that. Injectors on this side, injector hole in the piston, make sure it's that way. It also tells you the exhaust is that way, but it's hard to tell if the cylinder's not on. Of course, new bearings and pins. I'm gonna put that in there. Give it a squirt. Then as usual, I'll go ahead and put my inside um, circlip on. These jet ski ones are pretty stiff usually.
The uh, solid ring goes on the bottom with the R up. The pin is over here. Just like that right there. Then I'll go ahead and install the top ring here too. Um, top ring's pretty obvious that the markings go up. There we go, just like that. Now go ahead and do the other one. Just putting a little oil on the piston. So just a bit of oil there, a bit of oil there, and on the pan itself. Just like that. And I'll put the ring, uh, the circlip on this side. There we go. Of course, the bottom ring's the solid one. Right there. And then top ring, of course, right here. There we go. Of course, the base gasket has to go next. Goes that way, maybe this way. I think I'll probably do this one first. Okay, so now it's time to put the cylinder on. These are pretty easy. And there's definitely no need for a ring compressor on this because you can reach the rings. Just like that. That's all there is to that. I get the gasket centered back and let the cylinder come to rest on the block. There we are. So then we'll raise this one up and do the exact same thing. A little bit harder on this one since the other cylinder's there now, but it's no big deal. There we are. And that's that. So now we'll bolt the cylinders down. Okay, so up next I'm gonna go ahead and put the, uh, whatever this is, bell housing type deal, ignition cover, front of the engine on. Um, I've already put Loctite on all these, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, slightly tighten them down with this. Okay, so these are gonna be torqued down to nine Newton meters or 80 inch pounds. I'm just gonna go around and tighten them up, I think. Eh, we'll do a star pattern. Mm, one over here I think I didn't do yet. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and um, install the cylinders here. There's gonna be eight of these bigger bolts like this. Four long, really long and four kind of long. They're all gonna need some Loctite. Okay, so now it's time to start installing the cylinders here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten all these down somewhat, but not very much. So that's kind of the first step there. I'm going to make sure the gasket's where I want it and everything's kind of in its place. So then I use the 24 karat gold ratchet here to slightly tighten these down. So these are all almost tightened down, but still moves just slightly. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Also, I did torque this down off camera. It was not pretty. Uh, that's torqued down to like 108 foot pounds, I think. So hold the crank and tighten it down. There we go. 
Okay, so for the next step, you actually use the exhaust manifold to align the uh, cylinders here. So the one right here, obviously. That's not how it goes. I'll just right there. I'm not going to lock tight it yet. You just use it to kind of align it all. Okay, so now that I've got the exhaust kind of bolted on here and somewhat tightened up, we can go ahead and tighten down the cylinders here. Um, they're going to be torqued down in a crisscross sequence for each cylinder to 20 newton meters. Repeat the process procedure, retightening all cylinder screws to 40. So basically, we do a 20 newton meter, then a 40 newton meter. Okay, so at first, I'm going to torque these down to 20 newton meters, um, starting here in a kind of crisscross fashion. Okay, same thing here. Then we'll go to the 40 Newton meter. Those are torqued down now. Uh, I've already put the new O-rings in here, so we can go ahead and put the head on. So I've already put new seals in here and here. And then there, all of those. I believe it goes this way, but I need to check real quick. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and torque the head down. Um, these are going to be Loctited just like everything else. So you got to kind of wiggle it around. Okay, so now it's time to torque down the head. Um, first, in the order, it's gonna be one, two, three, four that I'm gonna go in, just follow along. Um, it's gonna be 12 Newton meters first round and then 24 the second. So I'll go ahead and start torquing these down now. Okay, then the second round is going to be to 24 Newton meters. So those are torqued down. Okay, so up next I want to go ahead and torque down the um, exhaust manifold here. So I'll take all those out again and put some Loctite on it.
Okay, so these are gonna have two torque stages. The first one is gonna be to 24 Newton meters, then the second one will be to 40. Um, following this order, the number one's up here. Two is this one. Three is here. Four is up here. Five is right here. Six is this one. Seven here. And eight is this one. So now we'll go up to 40 Newton meters. All right, so the exhaust manifold is installed now.